Let's set up our payment methods and checkout adjustments so our registrants can pay their fees. I'll click the Payments and Adjustments button at the top of my registration form screen to go to the Payments and Adjustments section. Here I can view offline payment settings, turn on installment payments, create automatic adjustments to fees at checkout based on custom fields I have added, and set the transaction fee responsibility. Let's go over each of these. Under Payment Methods, I can see that offline payments are currently off. If I want to allow registrants to print out an invoice and pay their fees to my organization offline, I will want to turn this on. By offline, I mean in person to the organization via cash or check. If there is a billing address entered in the Settings tab, then offline payments will automatically be enabled. Since I don't have this set up yet, I'll go ahead and click League Settings, which will take me to the Settings tab. I can see that the address is at the bottom of the League Settings section. I'll click Edit and enter my organization's address. Then click Save. I see that my settings are being updated and I'll go ahead and click this button to return to the Settings tab. Then click the Registration tab and Edit next to my form. I'll click Payments and Adjustments and I can see now that my offline payments are on. Now I want to turn on my installment payments. This payment method allows me to set up an installment payment plan option for registrants. This can be a helpful feature to break registration costs into smaller, more manageable payments for registrants to pay over time. I can see here that I need to set up my Payments tab in order to turn this on, so let's do that. I'll click the Payments tab and enter my organization's information there to set up my WePay account. The first and last name should be for my organization's registrar, treasurer, or the primary party responsible for registration. The email address I enter will be where any WePay email communication should be sent. Once I fill this out and click Connect with WePay, I'll be sent an email to confirm my account, complete KYC info, and set my account password. I'll switch over to my email so we can see what that looks like and where I need to confirm and verify my information for setup. This is what the email to confirm WePay setup will look like, and I'll go ahead and click Confirm, which will take me to the password set screen where I can finish setting up my account. I'll enter a password and click the checkbox to agree to WePay's Terms of Service and Privacy policy, then click Grant Access. I'll then have the option to go ahead and verify my information and link my bank account, or I can click I will do this later if I need to come back to it. When I go to verify, it is showing me listed as a business, but for this example, I am a nonprofit organization, so I'll just click the Not Right link so I can choose the correct option. I can specify my organization type and then ask for other details to finish setup. So once I've done all that, I'll be all set up and I can access my WePay account anytime. This is what my WePay dashboard looks like and I can see my example league listed there. If I didn't finish verification before, I can click the settings gear icon here in the upper right and click Trust Center and finish the items that are listed there. I'll hop back over to my TeamSnap account and in my Payments tab, it is still showing action required because I haven't finished all my verification steps. But once you've done that, the message goes away. I'll go back to my registration form under the Registration tab, click Edit, and then click Payments and Adjustments. I'll click the Installment Payments button and I can see that I am now able to turn on installment payments. So I'll check the box to do that, then I can decide how I'd like those installments to be set up. I'll set this up as a monthly installment and split this into four payments. So this will split the total balance for registrants, including fees, into four equal payments. I also want to have a deposit up front so my registrants pay something when they check out to hold their spot, so I'll enter that as well. Once that is all set, I'll click Save. Next, I will add a few automatic checkout adjustments, which will add or subtract amounts from a registrant's fees automatically based on custom fields selected. I'll click the New Adjustment button and select the custom field that the adjustment will be based on. Depending on the field type, I may need to select a value from a drop-down list or enter a value in the field. So for this one, I get to choose from a drop-down of the items for this menu field type that I created before, and I'll then enter a dollar amount in the Adjust the Amount Owed By field. If I want the registration fees decreased based on the value, I'll enter a negative dollar amount. I can enter multiple adjustments based on the same or different fields. I'll go ahead and add another adjustment for the same field here. I think I would like one more adjustment because I want to have a discount code that I can give to certain registrants that they can enter during registration. I haven't set that custom field up yet, 
So I'll click back to registration, then form fields to add my new custom field. I'll enter the name and where I want it displayed and add a tooltip. I don't want other registrants or members to be able to see what is entered in this field in case they aren't given the coupon code. So I'll check the box to make it private. And I just want this field to be completed once per family. So I'll check the box for that as well. I'll click save and go back to payments and adjustments and I can add a new adjustment and we'll see my new custom field there. Here is where I want to enter what the coupon code will be, so the adjustment will only apply when the text the registrant enters in that field matches exactly what I have entered here. I'll put in the adjustment amount and click Save. I'm done adding adjustments, and the last section is Transaction Fees. For transaction fees, if I am choosing to collect fees through registration, every transaction that is processed has an additional processing fee. This section gives us the option to pass those fees along to the registrants, which I will go ahead and leave checked because I do want those fees passed on, so I'll click Save. We've finished setting up our fees. Now I just want to double check everything by previewing my form. I'll click the Preview Form button at the top and fill out some dummy info on the first page. I'll be sure to select and fill out data to trigger the adjustments I just created, fill out some dummy info for the Parent section, then click Save and Continue to go to the Fees screen. I'll select my fees, and finally, I will be taken to my checkout screen where I can see how the adjustments will appear to the registrants when they complete the form. I can see my team assignment adjustment applied correctly, as well as my coupon code adjustment. Then when I scroll down a bit, I can see the payment methods that I have set up. When I click Installment Plan, I can scroll down and see what the breakdown and payment dates will look like to my registrants. These dates are set based on the date that the registrant completes their registration. I can also see here that the processing fees are listed and split between the installment payments. When I click Pay Offline, I can see that there are instructions for printing out a voucher to send in with my payment. So that all looks great, and I'm finished setting up my payment methods and checkout adjustments, and I'm ready to add some waivers and documents to my form.